To factorize a cubic um, function, there are many different ways of doing this. Uh, I'm going to go through three options with you. The first one is in this video, uh, is the method of inspection. And you don't need to know all three methods. You need to know all, even one of these three methods. If you have another method, that's fine. Um, but you need a method, at least a method, to factorize cubic functions completely. And basically, the reason why you're going to factorize a cubic function um, while working with the cubic function, the graph, um, you're going to factorize the cubic function and from the factors you can solve the x-intercept values that you need to show on your cubic graph. Um, so you must just have a method of factorizing a cubic function properly and fast so that you can find the x-intercepts. Now the first method that I'm going to do with you is the method of inspection. Now all three of these methods starts off the same um, by finding a factor with the factor theorem. In the previous video I explained the factor theorem. Um, now this this basically means that if I substitute a value and I get 0 into my function, then x minus that value that I substituted was a factor of my function. So I'm going to take x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6 on my calculator and I'm looking for something that I substitute in there that gives me 0. And this that I'm doing here now, um, I will do for all of the different methods that I'm going to show you. So this is always my first step anyways. Right, so I'm going to substitute 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3, um, until I find something um, that, I fact that I substitute into this equation that gives me 0. So at the moment I'm just trying 1 and that actually gives me 0. Okay, so f in the point 1 gives me 0. And it's not necessary to write down everything that you try. You can just try a few on your calculator. And the first one that you find that actually gives you 0, that one you write down. And then that one you write down. And you're going to say, um, if f in the point 1 is 0, then that means that x minus this value um, is a factor is a factor right okay so now I have one factor of this cubic function um, so x minus 1 is a, is a factor and the cubic function always factorizes into a linear expression with two terms and a quadratic expression with three terms so you'll see I talk about the quadratic factor there um, that is just the, the second bracket, which is three terms, it's a x squared plus x plus number, ix squared plus bx plus c type bracket. Right, now with inspection, I'm just going to actually um, sort of trial and error and see what happens. Now these first two, the x squared term and this, should always give me that first one. So if this is x, um, x times just x squared is going to give me that first bracket. And this negative 1 times whatever is standing here should give me that last value there, which is then positive 6, because negative 1 times positive 6 gives me negative 6. And then I should have a something x value there in the middle. Now to find this something x value, I'm going to show you first by using colored pens in the first example, but in the rest I'm just going to use my finger. So please make sure that you understand what I'm doing if you want to use this method. This is the fastest method of the three, um, but it is the most, um, I think it's the most difficult one for most kids. Uh, so I'm looking for this for the x squared term in my in my function should be plus 4x squared. Now there I have negative x squared and there's always 2 that makes an x squared. 
So this will make negative x squared and something in here with something, something in here with something in here multiply should also be a x squared term. Now I'm going to look for that. That's cubed, x cubed, x squared. There it is. And that's x. You see that will give me an x term. That will give me x squared, x and a number. So there's always two x squared terms and two x terms. There's the one x term. And there is the one x term if I multiply these brackets out. Now from the two x squared terms, I can see that if I want plus 4x minus 1x squared plus 5x squared is going to give me that 4x squared. And then you can actually double check it using this plus 1. That's the x term. So... Um, I said that this x times the 6, so plus 6x, and then there is another x term, minus 5x, plus 6x, minus 5x gives me that 1x. So this is the method of inspection, and then after using inspection to find your quadratic factor, you must just remember to factorize the second bracket, which um, in grade 12, I hope you are very comfortable um, factorizing a quadratic factor already, a quadratic expression already in now by this time. Um, so then those are my second two brackets. And then if you are, like in this case, actually have a equals to zero and you are actually busy solving for x, um, if you are solving for x, then you must just write down um, x equals to negative 3 or x equals to negative 2. So you must just write down these answers. If you are just busy factorizing, then you can stop there at that step. right? So if you are just factorizing, you can stop there. If you are actually busy solving for x and you have it equal to 0, then you can write that step. All right, so let's look at another two examples of the same thing. If you feel like you have an idea of what's going on, um, it's always better in mathematics to, um, to rather do it on your own than watch somebody else do it. So if you feel like you have an idea of what's going on, you can pause the video, first try the, um, the problem on your own, and then play the video and see whether you worked correctly or not. Um, but if you feel like you still need to watch the second example before attempting on your own, um, that's also fine. Right, so I'm putting minus brackets cubed, um, plus 2 brackets squared, plus brackets minus 2. So in the place of the x's, I put brackets. And then in the brackets, I'm going to move with my arrows and put 1 substitute 1 into the equation uh, that actually also gives me 0 it does not always work like this right sometimes you have to try a few and um, 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 until you actually find something that works so I have f in the point 1 is 0 which means that x minus 1 is a factor this step you must always write, please. Okay, the moment you find something that you substitute that gives you zero, this you write down. Okay, then my factorizing is going to look like this. I'm going to have x minus 1. And then the second one is going to be cubed. Now, since x times this should give me negative x cubed, this must be negative x squared. And minus 1 times this must give me negative 2. So this should be positive 2 times negative 1 is that. Right? And then for the, for the middle term, there is an x squared. Minus 1 times minus x squared. There is a positive x squared. And I want 2x squared. So there is a positive x squared. I need another positive x squared. To make 2x squared. So um, plus x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. And 2x minus x. 2x minus x equals that 1x. 
Right. I'm doing that, which I did not draw the lines here. Um, if you just need to pause the video and figure out what's happening. But I'm doing the same thing that I did in the previous two videos. All right. Um, and then this one I must just factorize. Now, before I factorize this, I'm just going to take out this negative completely to the outside. And then this is going to become x squared minus x minus 2. When I take out a negative, I change all of the signs. And then if I factorize this, it becomes x minus 2, x plus 1. Okay, so there are my factors. And then yet again, if you are busy solving for x, then you must just write down x is 1, x is 2, or x is negative 1. Right, so let's look at the last one quickly. Um, uh, this one is a bit trickier because there is an x squared missing. You see, usually it has x cubed, ix cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Um, but now I don't have an x squared term here. Um, so that actually means that the x squared term, its coefficient was 0. Because 0 x squared you wouldn't write. 1 x squared you write x squared. But if it's a 0 x squared it amounts to 0. So you won't write it there. So just keep in mind there should be a 0 x squared there. Right, um, so yet again, I'm typing this with the x's. Um, I don't need to type the x squared term there. But I'm typing this with the x's as brackets. And I'm substituting 1 in there. It gives me 5. I'm looking for 0. So that's not going to work. Then I um, type minus 1 in there. It gives me 27. So I'm looking for 0. Then... I'm glad this one I actually have to try a few. So then when I type 2 in, I get 0. So I get f in the point 2 is 0, which means that x minus 2 is a factor of this function. Right? Um, and now I'm going to do this the inspection step. So I'm going to put x minus 1 down as the first factor. And the second bracket is going to be quadratic, where x times x squared gives me x cubed. And minus 2 times negative, negative 2 times negative 8. Negative times negative is positive, and 2 times 8 is 16 gives me that. So the first two always, the first two gives me that and the last two gives me that term. And the middle two terms come from in here. Alright, so I'm looking for 0x squared. Now there I have a minus 2x squared. So then this one should be plus 2x squared. Plus 2x squared. And then I can just double check if I get negative 12x from my x terms. And now there is a negative 4x and there is a minus 8x. Negative 4x and negative 8x, which gives me then the negative 12x. So this works. And then lastly, I must just factorize um, x plus 4x minus 2 plus 4x minus 2x. Yes, I must just factorize this quadratic um, the quadratic factor and then if I'm busy solving I'm just going to write down therefore x equals 2 or x equals negative 4 or x equals 2 which if x is 2 or 2 I don't need to actually write both so I just have those two